Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my weekly Woolworths shopping haul to share with you. This is for our family of three, my husband, myself, our 13 year old son and our two German shepherds. So if you saw my shopping haul last week, it was a short one, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, the boys went off to do the shopping, did a fantastic job and uh, so much so I've backed it up this week. I've still not been feeling well. Um, the doctors seem to think I had a viral infection that my body is still getting rid of. So I'm off to have blood tests on Monday and hopefully confirm that's what it is and there's nothing else underlying. So I did a shopping list today, sent Hubby and Kale off and uh, because it's the first week of the month and we get our 10% with the Woolworths Rewards extra, I went through some of the special half price items and added those to the list as well. So it's a little bit bigger shop, uh, but uh, we've still got what we needed and a few extras. So first thing first, Kale's ham for his lunch. We did use all that piece. So it's the hickory smoked leg ham. This is $22 a kilo, so this is 846 grams, $18.60. That will get him through the week. Um, Possibly me as well. I'm not sure what I'm doing my meals for this four meals this week, but that will be enough if I need some as well. A piece of broccoli. It's a nice, really rich dark green piece. That was four dollars fifty a kilo, so a dollar fifty-four. Sweet potato. Probably going to have a roast tomorrow night because that'll be quick and easy. Something I can just throw in the oven. Uh, they were two dollars eighty a kilo, so it was eighty-nine cents for this one. Now the dog rolls. There weren't a lot on the shelf, but they did manage to get the three kilo dog rolls this week. So we've got the VIP Gourmet Premium Chicken with Whole Eggs. So they are two of those. I think they were the bit more expensive ones this week. They were nine dollars each. And actually the VIP Mega Bite, um, that's a three kilo with beef. And that one's nine dollars as well. So they have, um, they've all gone up to $9 a roll. They used to be about $6.50. We've got three of them, so that would definitely get us through the week a little bit more. The McCain pub style beer batter shoestring fries, they were $4, so they were on special this week. We just needed some chips or something for the freezer. There's, I've got some crumb fish and some, I think they're prawns or squid or something in the freezer, so we just needed something to go with those. Hubby's yogurt, he's got the Margaret River Dairy Company Vanilla Indulgent Yogurt. That looks really thick and creamy. I think we might have had that once, maybe before. But yeah, he grabbed that one. So that's 550 grams for $6. The Australian Tasty Slices, the two packs, these are the ones we buy. They are Kale's Ham and Cheese Sandwiches. And Hubby also has Vegemite and Cheese on Vita Wheats. So that was $9.30 for the 500 grams. And the Buller Splits, this was the ice creams they picked this week. These are just the raspberry. So the Splits raspberry, don't mind the Splits. They're a lot smaller in these packets than how I remember them growing up. But it's a quite a refreshing little treat. So there are 10 in there for $8. Then I did ask them to get a chicken so we could do um, a roast chicken tomorrow night. We've got the Macro Organic Australian Whole Chicken. This is the free range one with no added hormones. Um, it's a number 15 chicken, so it's a 1.5 and it was $14 a kilo. So we're looking at $21.28 for a chook. But we'll roast that up with some veggies and there might even be enough left to do maybe, I don't know, a fried rice or a, um, maybe like a chicken and bacon carbonara um, maybe one night if I've got some cream left over so that will be an option um, hubby's pizza choice was the McCain super pizza slices so cut one of these in half with some mozzarella on it in the air fryer and that makes a great lunch for him so they were nine dollars and we've got some feta I have been requested well, requested. It was quick and easy. My boys both like it. Some Moroccan mints that I talked about the other day. So I'll try and pop a picture up there. I think I took one a couple of times ago, but it's pretty much you cook up onions, garlic, um, carrot with some Moroccan spices and 
um, add your mint, and ten of tomatoes, some beef stock, and then you cook it down and um, stir some baby spinach, olives, and top it with feta. Really, really quick and easy. It sort of only takes about 25 minutes to cook, but it's like so, so simple, and it's really delicious. It's a nice comfort mood. Uh, when the weather's a little bit cold as well and it's uh, because it's got like the spinach and feta and olives and things in it it's it's quite good for you so we've got that one at $3.40 I've got another unsold of butter I'm going to try and do some butter biscuits tomorrow for Kale to pop in his school lunch box so that 500 grams was $6.40 we've got some shredded cheese um, they've got this one Australian tasty shredded cheese I don't know if I've, I've had this one or if I have, it was sort of during COVID when nothing else was available. So I'm not sure when this one will try it out. But shredded cheese is shredded cheese. $7.70. So with that one, so they've got me a kilo of mince, which is great. Because I can do half a kilo of mince. as uh, so that Moroccan mince and I either do a, you know, maybe a, you know, spaghetti bog or something. Or pop it in the freezer so I've got that for another meal. So that's a kilo for $12. Um, some smoked salmon, some Tassie smoked salmon, it's 115 grams here for $15. Um, I'm going to do, I've still got some eggs, some bacon, um, I've got some avocados over the back there. I'm going to be doing some bacon, um, scrambled eggs, avocado, smoked salmon, things like that for breakfast. Just trying to get some more goodies in to see if I can help fight off whatever this is that's not really completely gone away, but I just, um, I'm feeling really tired and just wanting to um, fill my body with a bit more healthy stuff. To Sonia Mild Tasty Sticks, this is just a 200 gram packet today. We have still got some in the fridge. They were $7.40. And then I'll just move around the other side. Um, some pork scotch fillet steaks. So one of the ones I was looking at this week was just to do... Um, like it was a stir fry with beans and capsicums and I've still got left over and things like that with some spring onions, some soy sauce and just have that. I'll have it with rice or just have it like it was. So I got some pork to do that. There's there's three big pieces there so I'm not sure whether we might even have that for a meal and then do stir fry with what's left over. But three pieces for $12 is actually quite good. Um, actually, that must have been on special because the label says... $12 but the docket actually says $10 so that was a little bit of a special. Um, Kale picked that his Paul's Chapa Chap Custard. This is strawberry flavoured custard. We had one of these once before when it was a clearance item and he obviously liked it So because he, he's come home with that. It was $2.50 and then his puppy dogs. This is his choice of something for the freezer. We get these when they're on special. They're normally um, a lot eight or nine dollars but they were on special for six dollars fifty for 600 grams and he literally gets probably half a dozen meals out of these with some chips and things so they go a long way but it's a good thing just having the freezer for a quick meal or a quick snack he's chosen the dairy farmers thick and creamy fifth strawberry yogurt two of those $1.95 each and then um this would be hubby's choice as well i would imagine the Dairy Farmer's Thick and Creamy Classic Vanilla at $4.40. And one sour cream this week. So, um, yeah, if I don't use that as a meal during the week, I'll have this one for my markets on Sunday. Um, so I've got just one of those, $3.20 for 200 meals. I did miss my market this morning, so obviously I couldn't go last week. So I've missed a couple, but, you know, it is what it is. I've got to deal with this health thing and get this sorted uh kale's milk this week is the oat paddle pop rainbow um now this is a caramel flavored uh milk so even though paddle pop rainbow kind of put him off to start with this has become his caramel milk $2.90 <coughs> and um i've got them to pick me up a silver side it's a baby one so i reckon this will be just one meal i don't reckon we'll have leftovers with this one because this is just, it's 850 grams, so it was $8.50. Um, must have been on special for $10 a kilo, because I haven't paid $10 a kilo for it for a long time. But that'll be good. And the other reason, getting a nice little one means it'll cook quicker as well. So I might be able to put it on a little bit later in the day, put on at lunchtime or something. Um, so it's $8.50. Now we get on to some fruit and veggies, veggies for Hale's lunch and things. So we've got some snow peas. The 250 grams, they were 
and some celery. So we've got the little packet of the pre-cut ones of 300 grams for $4.90. And then Kale's kits for his lunch, 250 grams. There's some little ones in there, so that's great. When they're little, I just pop, well, we pop two in. He usually helps me pack his lunchbox. So we've got two in there for, four, uh, sorry, 250 grams of so $4.50. And then right up the back, we've got some beans. So these have been really good. I've been popping these in my little piggy plate or my Lunchables or whatever you want to call them, take them to lunch. So, you know, ham, I'm trying to, if I've got a picture, I'll pop it up there. Yeah, ham, cheese, capsicum, olives, peas, beans, whatever I can find just to graze on at work. It's actually really good to have. So that was $6.90. And then I asked for a chorizo. Um, we've got the Miguel Maestro twin chorizo. These ones are really nice. And we've had the jamon and stuff as well. And it's really delicious. If you get a chance to try any Miguel stuff, then please do. It's $10 for the 200 grams. So they're a little bit more expensive than the other ones. But I reckon their flavour's better. And what I've got, um, I've got some cauliflower sitting over here. But I've got a, another one on the list this week is a paella prawn paella with chorizo and uh, cauliflower rice so that will be another meal for the weeks and there's two in there so I'll be able to do one this week and then if my family like it do it for next week or I have done a chicken and chorizo casserole sort of thing in the oven before as well so we could also do that uh, but it's also great in like tomato soups and things as well so we've got that so the spring onions are for our like I said our stir fry so a bunch of spring onions that's a quite a nice little bunch. We'll be able to use most of those for $2.80. And then baby spinach, this will be from our Moroccan mint. Just a little bag, it's a little 60 gram bag, but that'll give us enough to stir through there for $2. And my almost bunch, I did talk about it in the last couple of videos. Um, my videos are all in um, playlists. So if you want to go back and check any of my other ones to see what I'm talking about. But my bunch item this week, I've been a bunch member for two years, so I've got a bunch of bunch of nursery email to say that my freebie for this week was the one kilo of the Woolworth Sultanas, which Kale has in his lunchbox. So that's certainly a good buy, and they were five dollars. So very thankful for that. So thanks, Woolies. Love bunch. We have been getting some really good things out of it lately, and I'll just scan down a little bit. I haven't got much more left. Um, but I'll just scan down so I can reach those things at the back and you can see them. So the avocados, like I said, so I can have avocados on toast with feta or um, with a smoked salmon and eggs and things. And I get the of bunch ones because my family don't really like avocados. Uh, hubby will eat a little bit sometimes, um, but I get these ones because they're always a lot smaller than the bigger ones that you buy. And what have we got here? There's two, four, six, eight. I reckon there's ten avocados in there. And they were five dollars, I think I saw. Yep, they were five dollars. So ten in there for five dollars. The bigger avocados are like a dollar eighty each when they're on special. So I think this is a really good way to buy them. They're usually never all ripe or all ripe at the same time. So you can leave a couple out and keeping in the fridge, they actually last weeks when they're not um, ripe because uh, it's only once they start to ripen that they do start to go a little bit brown. Carrot, a bunch. So these will be roast tomorrow, cut up into sticks for kale's lunch. So a bunch of crazy carrots. We've got a kilo there and they were $1.70. Half a cauliflower. So it's a smallish one, but I reckon that that should be enough to do our cauliflower rice with our prawns and stuff. And if it's not, I'll just add a heap more other veggies to it. We'll just play it by ear. So that's $1.95. And then some mushrooms. I'm trying to work out what this was in. It was in something that um, I had. That's right. There's a uh, tuna and vegetable bake kind of thing as well. So... I select a few recipes by the ingredients and then kind of work out the recipes as we go during the week. It does depend on time frames. Some days I have more time than I was expecting. Some days I have less. And so I just go through and we, we work out the bills as best we can. So this is a white cup sliced mushrooms, 250 grams. So I won't need to do much to those because normally I just buy the 
button mushrooms and slice them as I need them, but this means I'm just chuck a handful in. So they were $4. The brown onions, one kilo. I think I'm down to my last onion, so I just needed some kind of onion for the cupboard. So we've got brown onions, they were $2.50 a kilo. And then spaghetti, these are just for the cupboard as well, because we're actually out of this plain spaghetti. This is a Woolworths one. It's made with Australian Durham wheat, and it's one of the only ones that does actually say that it's made with Australian wheat. Um, they cook really well and they're like a dollar a packet so I try and keep a couple of packets in the pantry for you know cheesy spaghetti or carbonara or you know spaghetti bolognese in a hurry or the other thing is is Kale's getting a little bit more independent cooking some things himself and if he chooses he'll just cook up you know a quarter a third of a packet of this spaghetti and when it's cooked he'll put some Lego's pizza sauce on it and some cheese and stir it up and Put a bit of parmesan on top and he thinks he's made himself a gourmet lunch or a tea so it's it's always good just to have them in the cupboard he's 13 so he's just getting into that kind of stuff but it's great that they can be independent and um they might not be the best health choices but the fact that you can cook anything on your own you've got to start somewhere so i think that's great so there were those now his cereal this week i did notice that the great big packets of nutri grain were on special He's got a little bit left, but um, it's not going to see him through the week. So this was a 765 gram box, and they're on special for two dollars. Uh, sorry, two dollars. Wouldn't that be great? Seven dollars fifty. So that will usually go in like two um, of the tall Tupperware containers, and then that will last him for a uh, quite a long time. See, it was very fresh in those containers. So as soon as it's open, we do that. Um, the Smith thinly cut chips. This is the lightly salted six serves. There's two of these. They are two for $7 at the moment. So we got those. And the Arnott's Vita Weeks, they were on special this week as well. So they were two for $7 as well. So I got happy to get two because uh, he usually only goes through a packet a week. Sometimes not that many. Or I might have some too. So I thought, well, two for $7, we'll grab two. And then there's going to be a spare one in the cupboard. Um, Kale has got his Woolworth, no Woolworths, no tip top, wholemeal raisin toast, 600 grams. I'd say this was the only one that he could find on the shelf because he doesn't normally pick the wholemeal one unless it's the only one there for $4.50. It did say that he was going to get some LCMs uh, for his lunchbox, so they were $5. And then the bread this week is just the bread grain loaf, 800 grams. Uh, that's three dollars fifty so what I've been doing is this bread doesn't last a great amount of time for sandwiches and things but I do drop him off on Tuesday mornings he has guitar ensemble at 7 30 before school starts so the our favorite bakery or my favorite bakery across town um, for the for the definitely the best bread that keeps the best is uh, right down the road from the school that I go past when I drop him off so I call in after I've dropped him off or before if we've got time to pick up some bread and that bread that I get on Tuesday lasts him for the rest of the week. So I'm only getting one loaf from Woolies on the weekend and then um, obviously the rest of this becomes toast or I'll pop it in the freezer. Um, but yeah, that other bread, there's, they've got a light multi-grain one and that sees him out for the rest of the week with really fresh sandwiches. So works out really, really well and we're supporting one of our local businesses in town. So that's what we've been doing there. Um, the pizza sauce, this is the pizza sauce that Kale puts on his spaghetti once he's cooked it and then um, sprinkle cheese on top. So it's just a squeezy bottle, just keep it in the fridge. Um, that was $4.50. And some diced tomatoes. I've got two tins because I do use a tin in that Moroccan mince, but just another one in case we do some beef in the slow cooker or something as well. It's nice just to have a can in the cupboard. They were 90 cents each. Uh, my husband's also grabbed a packet of Advil, the ibuprofen. This uh, 20 capsules for $5.75. And then I put tomato pesto on the list, um, either the free form one or that Italian one to do the cheesy pesto, uh, cheesy spaghetti. Uh, this is the one they've picked. It's dark, but I've got a feeling once we mix it with cheese, it'll still go light like the other ones. So I think that this will be fine. I'm trying to work out whether I've had it before, but it's definitely... Sun-dried tomato and basil pesto. So it should uh, start, actually. Oh, no, sorry. That's the pasta. Uh, 
pizza sauce that is a tomato basil. So this is, um, oh no, it does say sun-dried tomato basil, but it doesn't say that on the label. Maybe it's just got basil in there. So that's $4.30. Then Kale's chocolate of choice. Daryl Lee cookies and cream. This is the one with the marshmallows. And you can actually feel the spongy marshmallows in the back. It's kind of cool. Very different, but I tell you what, it works really well because it's quite tasty. That was $2.75, and I know they were, these were half for us this week, so on your kale for grabbing that. That's a great one. My husband's grabbed himself some crumpets, the golden uh, wholemeal crumpets, six pack for $4.40. Um, so he did say that that's all there was. I think I saw that there was a special on this week, two packs for five bucks. So maybe they're being cleaned out because everyone was getting for the crumpets. But there were weeks there, I reckon probably a good couple of months, where when I shopped there wasn't one packet of crumpets on the shelf. So uh, lucky he's got these ones. So they're $4.40. And then the um, premium dark soy. This, I just needed some soy sauce for the cupboard and the dark soy is the perfect choice because the one I've got a little bit left of is a lighter one. So that's perfect. For $3.50, Kayla needed some more deodorant. So they have picked this one up and I'm pretty sure this is one that my husband has been using as well. Rexona Fresh Sport, 48 hours uh, for $6. And then I needed some more baking powder so I can do the butter biscuits for Kale. So this is the one they got me, the 300 grams for $4.44 and then the half price items when I was going through the half price things to see what they had I noticed the dishwasher tablets were um, half price and they are 52 tablets in here for $33.60 so they grabbed that one and the buyers that attack laundry liquid in the pouch I've showed you these before so this is 1.8 litres it's in a pouch does 36 washes and it easily pours into the two litre bottles that you buy. And when these are half price, this whole little pouch is only $10, which is great. I mean, it says 36 washes, but it probably lasts more than that for me because I don't use a full one in there because I put it in when I do the delicates cycle for our work shirts and um, school clothes and all those kind of things. So I use that liquid because there's not always a full load and rather than using any of the powder or the liquid. So that's what I've got for my shop today. Um, like I said, it was quite a big one price-wise, but we got that Everyday Extra Rewards discount as well. And it was a total of $333.31, which I'm super impressed about because we've got cheese, we've got um, lots of dog food, we've got some meat, we've got the cereal, we've got heaps of like, veggies, as well as those half price cleaning products. So I think it was a great shop this week and um, we got the 10% discount as well. So um, so that discount has come off that. Obviously we've paid 333. So our total savings, including specials and things this week is a whopping $95.16. So normally when I'm getting my 10% discount, the specials are normally anywhere between 80 and $110. I think the most I've ever had on savings was $112 in a week. So they've done a fantastic job this week. We're going to go through everything that's here. There's going to be things that are going to go in the cupboard and the pantry and stuff to last us a while. Um, so, yeah, no, that's been great. And also, because we spent more than $310 this week, we got an extra 2,100 points, I think, as well. So the total points on this shop was 3128 which is just great. It's put $20 extra onto our Woolworths shopping for Christmas, that's saved for Christmas. So it's like sitting at, my docket says $280, but I'm sure when I looked online, it said $290. So maybe that's that extra $10 that we got for the bonus points. So super impressed. They've done a great shop this week. Um, we're going to be able to get through, have some nice healthy meals and then get planned for the week ahead. So there will be some other um, editing and stuff that I have been doing. So you'll have seen some stuff come through. There is a bit more coming through. And as soon as I'm up to it, I'll be doing a little bit more filming as well. So until next time, I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.